Well, good morning, everyone. We're here at Fleet's Dam. It's several months since I've fished an open match here today. It is a Thursday, but I think there are about 20, I don't know how many is here, 25 anglers maybe. So it's a decent turnout. Well, I'm down at the bottom end of the lake. If you know the, uh, the venue, this is peg 31. And I'll show you the approach and everything that I'm going to be uh, uh, giving a go today. It's going to be all about carp. There aren't any F1s in here and there isn't going to be any silverfish fishing whatsoever so it's all about carp however at the time of filming it is the middle of March but it is quite mild it was only nine it says it was nine degrees on 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 the temperature gauge on the van but when I arrived here they've done the draw down there Alan Hansen's done the draw down there in the neck end where you drive into the fishery you could see fish cruising around um, on the top so I have got a pellet waggler with me there's gonna be some bomb fishing and I'm possibly going to kick off with the method feeder. So it's all about carp and um, I'm going to show you the approach. All my rods are set up now and we're fishing 10 until 4. So this is peg 31 down at the bottom end of the dam. That's the narrower shallower end of the lake where you drive into the fishery. Got Gary at the next peg. In a bit of a corner there. But this is peg 31 and in case you're wondering, dad is in the van behind me. There he is. He's got a ringside seat today. So I'm on the platform, as you can see, nice solid platforms these. I've got three rods set up, which I'll quickly show you before we get going. I'll go through the bait tray and everything. We've got a bit of a breeze hitting it now, as you can see. It's from the left and in. It was actually coming straight in when I got here. Um, but let me show you the kit. And I think I've made my mind up how I'm gonna fish it. Bait wise, really simple, super simple side tray. Like I say, it's all about carp today. So I've got a load of eight mil, those are the pro feed pellets that I use, 8mm. I always carry plenty of those. You can use your own pellets obviously here. So I've got those, nice strong catapult. I'm gonna be pinging those out there. I've got some um, micro pellets there. These are the, let me show you the bag. The normal thin, perfect ones. Okay, um, basically pellet choice. You know, I've been asked about that a few times. Um, for some reason, when I've been fishing for proper carp, you know, the bigger carp, not F1s. I've just found that the Fin Perfect ones, the kind of natural flavour, if you want to call it that, I've just had more success with them for some reason. If I'm fishing a smaller venue where you're fishing for F1s and stuff, the F1 pellets have been great. Um, and on heavily coloured waters, um, the krill and squid, Sonobate's krill and squid ones have been better when it's heavily coloured, but as you can see, that's not the case now. You know, this is not heavily coloured anyway. So that's basically why I've selected those pellets, those are soaked up. And then I've just got a selection here of um, of wafters and, and various different shapes, sizes and colours there. Um, these are Pro Expander 8mm pellets that have been soaked overnight, which I can try on the bomb line, on a hair rig, either single, I can fish with those single or double on a nice long hair rig. Could make a difference on that bomb line, I don't really know. And then I've also got some Hookable expander pellets here, which I can obviously try on the hair rig as well. They, those are basically do the same job as those, but those are a little bit tougher and they are um, F1 flavour as well. So I've got a nice selection there, but <laughs> it's really, really simple. I'm not going to feed any corn anywhere. I was potentially going to feed corn, but I've never really done that on here. So I just want to stick to what I know. So rod wise and setup, I'm just going to do this once for you. I'll do it now so that you can see. Look, the fish just crashed out there. There's loads moving around out there to my right. Um, so this is the method feeder setup. Okay, I've just got a commercial 11 foot HH Pro reel, eight pound horizon main line, and I'm gonna kick off with an open 20 gram into size method feeder. Simple as that. All right, I've got a boily, uh, a boily pin on there, and that is it. And I'm gonna fish it unclipped to start with. So that's the method feeder that I'm gonna kick off with. I'm then gonna fish with a, over a loose fed line where I'm going to be firing 8mm pellets for that line I've got uh, an XR3000 reel this again has got 8 pound line on it 8 pound horizon it's the XRC bomb rod 9 foot and I have been preferring a 10 gram pellet bomb for this sort of fishing however as you can see it's flat calm and I know that a lot of these fish are educated fish they're older fish and so I'm going to leave a 5 gram on just because I think it's a little bit more discreet. Whether it's going to be right or not, I don't know. Um, and then again, I've just got a, a, a band on there that I can fish with banded pellet, and then the final rod. So you know what I'm using is another HX Pro reel, the 11 foot um, Horizon Pro Waggler. This is the, uh, the pellet waggler rod that I use all the way through the summer. I've got that at the moment with a four gram 
finesse pellet waggler on I don't know if four grams would be enough obviously if that wind stays away it should be enough but obviously I can change that just the usual matrix pellet waggler attachments that I always use and obviously I can play around with that depth adjust it and then I've just got a band on there as well to fish with a hard banded pellet and that is it a super simple setup so that's it it's five minutes to the off I'm gonna start loose feeding eight mil pellets as far as I can comfortably feed them you have actually got a fish to the right on this peg there is a sunken wall which runs from that tree right the way across to that dead tree apparently I know there is a wall sunken wall here somewhere apparently that's the line it's on so I've got a fish slightly to the right and I'm pretty sure that if I do hook any fish I'm going to play them with the rod up in the air I think because I have been told that that can cut you off um, so I'm going to be facing more a little bit to the right I've got a spare peg to the right so I can fish slightly to the right five pellets as far as I can but I'm going to start on the method feeder out there towards the middle well we're just about to go in it's just started raining they haven't forecast any rain um, but hopefully it'll stay off look what I've just found in my bag I haven't had one of those since I was a kid so I'm looking forward to that uh, this is Fleet's Dam that's the official name for it uh, and it is a day ticket water so if anyone's interested in coming in pleasure, pleasure fishing here or fishing the matches um, it is at Barnsley in South Yorkshire and if you just get down and fish and the, Alan the owner and the bailiff will just come around and get your day ticket money off you but they do have um, a Facebook page if you're interested in the matches here they have matches here on a Thursday and I think they have an open match on a Saturday as well and various winter leagues and things um, and I think it's Alan Hansen Fleets Dam that's the name of the Facebook page if you just want to keep track of results and that's basically how you book onto the matches I'm all set I'm really looking forward to it I'm quite warm as well it is quite mild now it's, uh, it's gonna be really nice if it stays like this as regards targets lots of people ask me about that sort of thing going into a match on a venue you haven't fished for several months it's not always um, clear what your target might be but in my experience I, I'm, and you know there aren't F1s in here so you don't need many bites for a, for a good weight even in summer you might be looking at 10 bites but that 10 bites could be 80 pound 90 pound the weights up until last week were around the 30 odd pound it's been fishing quite hard through through winter uh, but last week it was one with I think it was about 49 or 50 pound so I'll stick my neck out and say you're going to need 50 pound today to stand a chance of winning I think like I say I've already seen fish moving but I don't know how easy they are going to be to catch so that's it I'm going to kick off on the method feeder the yellow yellow band and wafter I'll just see what happens I'm just going to find out what line we're going to be fishing on to be fair being told that the walk that's it just been told that the wall runs from this tree to that tree so i'm going to be going to the right a little bit just going to watch where these lads are going to go it looks like he's starting on bomb bomb and meat by the looks of it so let's get the feeder out there i'm not clipped up or anything Look at that one, see that fish? Right, almost uh, on my uh, waggler line. Let's just get this out there. I think the wall is gonna be to the left of that. There we go. It's not very deep out there. Probably, I don't know what it is, five foot? Might not even be that, to be fair. Just lower that down a little bit. Set that stopwatch, just so I can keep track of how long we're out there I'll just start getting some I'm not going to go mad with these pellets obviously because I don't know how it's going to fish but I'm going to feed these in line that is actually not far off where that where that fish hey up half morning I'm going to feed these in line with, uh, with where I've just put that feeder I'm just going to build that up slowly and keep my eye out for any fish that might be out there I've already seen fish topping anyway so I wouldn't be surprised to get one or two bites on this on the waggler anyway even though it is March but as you've seen I've got a bomb a bomb rig to go over that as well obviously to fish down on uh, down on the deck and that it can be a good method on here I'm just going to try and group them a little bit better that's better and that's it I've got a pretty good view of water. I've got two anglers to my left that I can just about see. I can see Gary to my left. One, two, three on the dam head. One, two, three, four, five. And there's anglers on the other bank. So I'm going to get a good idea about what's been caught. <clears throat> so 
that's it. I'm just going to start on on 10 minute casts on this to start with. Well, I've had one or two little tiny little indications, just like liners, not big liners, but just tiny indications. This has been out there nine minutes. And we've got a little skimmer, which isn't the target by any means. But it's a fish. It's been out there nine minutes. I'll tell you what is interesting in here, it's a months and months since I've fished here. And um, obviously I can't see everybody. I'm not going to sit watching everybody. But I'm the only angler that I've seen start on a method feeder. Everybody else, obviously these lads are all locals. Everybody else has started on a bomb in some shape or form. I've seen one lad, it looks like he's on bomb and meat. Looks like meat. And I don't know if the others have just started on bomb and pellet. Bread can work here as well. Um, but I'm the only one that started off like this. Which is interesting. So whilst I've no idea if, if I'm doing the right thing or not, I'm definitely doing something different <laughs> from uh, most other people. Let's reset that stopwatch. So that's it, I'll just have another 10 minute cast. And keep them pellets going in it's an interesting one feeding these pellets because you know it's uh, in summer if i was intending on being um or spending most of the time on the pellet waggler i would be feeding this line a lot more frequently but obviously at the moment i've no idea if i'm going to catch anything shallow so all these pellets are going to end up down on the bottom and if i have got to fish a bomb over the top of this then I don't want millions of pellets down there on, laid on the deck are you with me if, uh, if they're not getting picked off on the way down so I'm just going to keep it quiet just putting three three pellets at a time in and um, just try and be a bit patient with it I think I've only seen one fish move since the start of the match I know we've only been fishing 10 minutes but whilst we were setting up there were definitely one or two more fish moving about I've only seen one while we've been fishing so it's um, it's just going to be a, a steady start, I think. Just just ease our way into it, and I can see loads of anglers, so I can see if uh, if anyone's catching. We've been fishing 30 minutes. That's the first fish I've seen caught over there on the dam head. Not a big fish. Looks like a skimmer on the bomb, or is it a little stocky? Not a big fish, but that's the only fish I've seen caught. I'm getting the odd slight little indication. This particular cast, I've decided to leave it out there. It's been out there 12, just coming up to 13 minutes. Still seeing the odd fish moving out there. So there's definitely fish out there. Well, we've been fishing 50 minutes just up, yeah, just coming up to 50 minutes now. Um, not getting any signs on this at all. No liners or anything. I'm the only one I can see fishing it. I think Gary's had a, a cast on it to my left, but um, I've only seen one decent fish caught or one carp caught that's two to my left going uh, into the corner peg 34 apparently it's a peg that they don't normally peg uh, he's definitely had a carp and he's had another fish as well so um, it's obviously a slow start so I'm just gonna have a look on this bomb line or this loose fed line should I say just with a um, I'm just gonna put a banded pellet on basically same pellet that I'm uh, that I'm loose feeding. <coughs> we expected it being slow, but the um, <laughs> the other thing as well is when I got here this morning, when I was setting up, there was a little bit of sun out, a little bit. It was flat calm, but it just it just changed so much when I got here this morning. It was uh, the sun was uh, threatening to come out, and uh, it was flat calm. There were fish moving around everywhere. But you know now, it just feels like it's gone back to winter. I've had my hoods up, the wind was blowing. And it feels like everything against uh, favouring catching on a waggler. Well, it's just gone 11 o'clock. I've just seen a couple of fish caught. That lad over there on, over there on the dam head. He's, um, he's playing a, a proper fish now, but so that's not a skimmer, that's a carp. And then the lad right in that far corner, I've just seen him. Net a carp, not a big fish, but definitely a, a carp. 
and the lad over there in front of the white van I'm sure he's just had one as well over there so there's the odd one showing now that was one there just come out of the water right I mean that's not in my peg but that's right in the middle again so there's one or two being caught now um, but I'm not getting any signs I'm still on this bomb line now this, I think that's my third cast on the bomb line on the, this loose fed pebble line I'm not getting any liners or anything so just going to keep going. I think Gary's just netting one next to me. Is that a carp? It must be. It's a little carp. Just about make him make him out through the bushes. Yep. So he's got one as well. So yeah, I uh, I definitely need a fish now. I think. Otherwise, I'm going to start falling behind. Quarter past eleven, and the lad at the, my right has got one now. He's on a bomb, some sort of a bomb rig. Looks like it's a, a little carp. Yep, he's got it. So, I'm back out on the method feeder. Over the last five minutes, there's been quite a few fish moving out there in the middle, but I'm not getting an indication at all out there on that, with this method feeder. So the lad in the corner's got at least one, he's got two fish, one's a carp, Gary's got one on my left. And then the lad on my right's just had one, so... Really could do with a fish now, to be honest, but... I'm, Continuing keeping them pellets going in and uh, just going to have an, another couple of casts on the method out there because there's definitely a fish moving out there. Well, it's um, just coming up to 12 o'clock. I've been fishing just under two hours and it's been terrible. I, I just, I'm just not getting any indications whatsoever. A lot of my right's got one. Gary on my left's got two. Next one to him's got two. And all three on the damn head have all got one apiece. And there's still been fish crashing about out there, in right in the middle. I mean, most of the time it's not in my swim, but it's so active, crashing about. I'm just sitting out there with a the method feeder on and I'm just not getting any indications whatsoever. I keep trying the, um, the loose fed pellet line and um, and I just don't, I'm not getting any signs on that whatsoever. So I've literally just, with this um, quick change system that I've got, I've just took the method feeder off and switched to a, a 20 gram. It's basically a, a bomb, basically, that you can just slide on. I'll show it you. And I've put a slightly longer up length on. And, um, and I've just opened that tin of corn and I just. You know, I just thought, is it? Have we just got to fish it like proper, proper winter mode? You know, dobbing about with a bomb and corn, and and I've had one cast out there. It was out there ten minutes, never had a sign, and then there we go. And then I've just cast this one out, and as soon as it hits the bottom, it's gone round. Just like wind, proper, proper winter fishing. So if that's what we're going to do, that's what we're going to do. Maybe I've just thought it's going to be a little bit more more springtime fishing um, than it actually is but the fish are so active out there they're crashing about you know so that's obviously what I've got to try and do now just um, I'll show you what I've done with the rigging in a minute but there we go not a big fish not a big fish but uh, we're off the mark carp wise a couple of pounds two or three pounds maybe Three pound will click on that one. Get that on the clicker. One, two, three. We're actually off the mark. See there, look, another fish there, crashing. So all I'm gonna do is just have a few casts around the swim with this. All I've done is that stem, the same stem, exactly the same method feeder. I've just slid the, um, the feeder off it, put a bomb on it, 20 gram slightly longer hook lens and then just a, a speed stop with the corn on that case I actually put two uh, two pieces of corn on so I might as well go back to that haven't I like I say it went round as soon as the bomb had hit the bottom you know so it's very much a visual thing and if you, with it being a bomb you can obviously dot it around a little bit you know you're not spreading bait everywhere search out the swim 
and if you drop it in front of in front of a fish then hopefully it'll grab it but but anyway as you can see there we go double corn so let's get back out there so we're off the mark anyway we've got one on the score on the score sheet let's just go back out to where I got that one which was there Plop. that's right where well that line you see look they're crashing out there to the left I mean that's obviously in the, in the middle of the bowl but but they're so active which is unreal really because let's set that stopwatch you know the water's cold we're obviously fishing it as though it's winter which is expected that's all I'm gonna do now just spend a bit of time on this with it being a bomb I can try different areas I can drop it halfway further to the left to the right whatever and just see if that visual bait can pick off you know one or two fish like a liner then Let's keep those pellets going in on that loose fed line but nobody's running away with it here the most I've seen is, is two carp so we're off the mark so it's now two hours now we've been fishing two hours well it's <clears throat> it's gone off past 12 now and I haven't had any more signs on this bomb setup. Gary, Gary next peg now, I think he's got three or four. I've just heard that the lad in the corner's got seven or eight. I'm just not getting any signs, I'm still only on one fish, so all I'm gonna do is just go back to a method and just sit. Sit and just be patient on a method, just see if we can get anything on that. <clears throat> I'm still feeding the pellet line obviously but um, I, I'm just not finding anything even casting that bomb around the swim you know I just wasn't getting any liners I couldn't couldn't pick off a quick fish like I did you know at first with it you know if I dropped it in front of a fish or whatever just taking that bomb off put that feeder back on great system all I'm going to do is uh, just um, have a 10 minute cast on this but I'm going to drop it back a little bit I'm not going to go quite as far out I'm really off put by where this so called wall is you know I'm not exactly sure where it is and whether I should be fishing down the side of it I don't know so I'm just going to drop this not quite as far this time let's put it there on that line there Reset that stopwatch. That's it. Just have a 10 minute cast on this. I'm gonna have a swig of my soup. Minestrone soup I've got today. So I'm gonna have that. Have a 10 minute cast and just see if I can find find anything. But the problem I've got at the minute is I can't really see where a runner fish is gonna come from. You know, I've been out in the middle, I've been out on the bomb as well as the method. Be nice to obviously go on this pellet line and and have a run of fish, but the way that it's the way that it's fishing, it still feels very much in winter mode. I just can't seem to see or imagine where a run of fish is going to come from if I'm chasing, you know, another five fish, six fish just to get back in it. But see what happens on this for the next ten minutes. A lot of my rights had one more on the bomb. I don't know if he's fishing meat, but he's on the pole now. I haven't seen him catch on that. So, we're coming up to halfway, but you know, this time of year, the second half can always, and sometimes be the best best part anyway. I've just got to keep them pellets going in, you know, hopefully we're going to get an arrival on that line. It would be nice to pick off two or three fish now in this middle bit. So that I'm not too far behind. Well, this has been out there nine minutes on that spot. The first time I've really cast to that spot with a method feeder. And that got caught on something then. I wonder if that was the wall. Yeah, that definitely got caught on something then. Better keep the rod up. It feels like it's in something again. I'm gonna keep the rod up for this one. So yeah, it's um, no, um, there were no indications, just a bite straight out of the blue. I just looked across there actually, the lad 
in the middle of the dam head has just um, had another fish. I've seen him catch three or four now. He's loose feeding. So yeah, this one feels bigger than the last one. Really quite nice when that wind wind drops, you know, but when that wind's blowing it's so much colder. But I just really want to get one or two fish in the net to, so I'm not too far behind. It's not a huge fish. It'd be nice to find to find a pattern. There we go anyway, it's bigger than the last one. A good four pound that one. Maybe a bit more. Pretty fish that one. Look at the scales on that one. Beautiful fish that one. Look at that. So that's the second one. So we've had one on one on a stray bomb approach, casting round, and one on the method. The minute it just feels like both fish. At the minute it feels like both fish have just been been random fish. You know, I'm sure that waft is going to work properly. There we go. Let's get back out to that same spot again. Just got that original 20 gram into size open method on. No glugs or anything on these pellets today, just natural. Uh, right, where did we go? We went over there, didn't we? Time about there. At the spot, get that down there. So, stop watch, reset. That's it. So, we've got two in the net. What we put on that one? Four, four pounds, three, three for seven pounds. Come on, let's uh, just coming up to one o'clock, so still three hours left yet. But like I say, it's um. And to, to be nice to, to try and either tick over catching the odd fish every 20 minutes, half hour or whatever. Other than that, I'm going to need a runner fish. And uh, it's not feeling like it's the right day for that. I haven't tried the waggler. Whatever that wind's like it is now. And then that cold wind. I'm not seeing as many fish moving now. It just feels completely wrong to try the waggler when it's like that. You know, it feels much cooler than it was when we first got here. But, you know, as it progresses and we get on for the next hour or two, if we start seeing one or two more fish moving about, then I will try it. But you never know, if they are showing, it's showing that there's one or two up in the water. And you might just get lucky and just drop drop a waggler in, in front of one, you know, up in the water. But that's something I can try if uh, if we're still struggling in a while. So yeah, so I'm going to have another, probably give 10, 15 minutes on this one, on this cast, and then uh, see if we can find another one. And this feels like it's snagged me up, that's going through a snag, that's going through a snag. And um just uh, I thought I'd have a, give the bomb line a chance never stop feeding it and um, I've gone on it and it's literally only been there what five minutes and it's just gone just cruise straight round no warning or anything oh no those hooks come off that was grating against something in a snag or something I'm pretty sure that's weak in that up length. Oh, that's a shame. That was the biggest fish as well, that. Just saw it as it rolled there. Yeah, the, the hook length's gone. But that, it must be the remnants of that wall. It's got to be. I could feel it grating when it was just to the left. That's a shame. Um, what we got on here? Uh, a band. Oh, that's annoying. It's nice to finally get some sort of a sign on that bomb line, but I'm just going to check that line. Yeah, it's all grated there. Oh, you can see it, can't you? See it? It's 
all serrated where it went through something just there that's got to be the wall that they're talking about oh obviously that's been transferred onto the hook length as well that was so annoying there's a little bit above above the bomb bomb rig as well i'm gonna have to change that obviously on to good thing is with this i can just slide slide these up the line and, and then cut off the damaged bit which starts about there I'm just going to cut that into that bay tray and just retie a loop on there that is so annoying I'm not seeing anyone really catching any fish now obviously the lads to my left have got that lead on me well I was the last one to catch but so we've got that second fish and then obviously that one in a period when they haven't or I'm, I haven't seen them catch then obviously it's really encouraging because it's if you could just tick over and keep picking fish off then you're not going to be too far away and that obviously would have been a massive a massive um, boost for me to um, start trying to catch up they did tell me about that there's a wall there but wasn't sure exactly where it is and how much of a threat it is so all I'm gonna do again is just shorten that up then slightly oh, that's so annoying with it being the biggest fish as well to get it so close to the net so we'll go back out again just using the banding tool to be fair when I've talked about getting a run of fish it really feels like this is the only line where I am going to, you know, where, but, you know, this might be the only line where I'm actually going to get a run if I am going to get one. Because that's the line, obviously, where I've been feeding. Oh, well. Let's reset that stopwatch. There we go. So, all it is, I mean, it, it's, it's just coming up to 20 to 2. I'm obviously hoping it's going to pick up, but really annoying losing a fish that way to be fair after what it, what it just to the left there whatever it was caught in and grating in I'm surprised it didn't cut me off there probably a bit unlucky that it's cut you know it's taken until I've got it here for it to cut me off but no oh, well nothing we can do now is there Let's make sure that drags set for a few more pellets in there Trying not to chase it too much, that's the trouble when you go a few fish behind, you feel as though you want to chase it. But when it's fishing as hard as this, um, sometimes you've just got to sit back and be a bit patient, you know, and stay in that winter mode. Oh well, come on, let's get some fish in the net. Back on the bomb line, this has been out there 5 minutes and 20 seconds not getting any indications you know it's just very difficult to think where I'm gonna make the numbers up today Gary on my left has just he's just had, I think he's had two in two casts out of nowhere on the method so I was thinking about going and having another look back on there and then uh, obviously the tips gone round and I looked another one on the bomb line this one's gone down to my right. I'm feeding some micro pellets to my right now, just in little balls, where I can obviously drop a method feeder on there later on, but it's just another option. There we go, well that's another one. That at least gets us into double figures. Another four pounder maybe. As you can see, the hook looks well down, just on that hard banded pellet which is still on, as you can see, let's get him in the net. So we've got less than two hours to go, and I've literally got just over, I've got about 10 to 11 pound, which is not very good is it, let's get this bomb back out there. Wind keeps circling. 
什么。Keep them pellets going in and hope that we're going to get a get a, a run of fish. So this right hand swim that I'm feeding, all I'm basically doing, it's just a throwaway line. To be fair, I've never done it on this venue before. That's basically just balls and micros, like that. Same sort of size as what your method feeder will be. And I've just been putting them just there, as you can see. Obviously I've got a spare peg there, there's plenty of room there and that's just down, you know, away from the bank. No idea if it's gonna if it'll work. Hopefully I don't even have to try it. Because hopefully, you know, I'm gonna be catching one or two fish on this, or even on the method, but obviously at any stage I can drop on that with, with bomb and pellet or or my method feeder. It's just a throwaway line. Well I've gone back out on the bomb line and this has been out there four minutes and twenty seconds really feels like I'm just not really in touch with it to be fair which I'll tell you about in a minute let's just see if we can uh, land this one just heard that the lad in the corner on 34 has not caught for about an hour so it's obviously gone slow now he's got about 25 pound apparently so it is fishing hard This one looks a, a decent stamp fish, this one. There we go, we've got him. That's a good, great fish to get, that one. Should be a five pounder, that one, I think. There we go, let's get him in the net. And I'll get telling, telling you what, what my thoughts are. Once I get my rig back out there, for the first time, it seems like it's a, a bit of a, well, I'll not say pattern, but a bit of a, um, we've actually up three fish on this line now, so let me just get this back out there and I'll tell you what I mean. Yeah, it's just, I mean, that's three now. Obviously, the first fish we had was on a bomb and corn, which just seemed random. And, um, and then, obviously, we've got another fish on the method feeder, which, again, felt a little bit random. It was first cast in a different spot. Um, but we've got three fish on here now, on this line. So... The encouraging thing is that obviously that's the this is the line where I've actually fed. And like I said earlier, that it felt like the only place I was really going to get any sort of a run of fish, if I was going to get a run of fish, it would be on this line. So that's really encouraging. Um, it's twenty past two now, and we're fishing till four. And um, so I've obviously got to stick on this now. I mean, from speaking to Gary next to me, he has a, quite a few fish now, but he says a lot of them are small, hand-sized, stocky fish. So whilst I've only got, what have I got? I've got four fish. Um, they are of a, a better stamp than that, so... Just got to be nice and... Uh, nice and patient, I think. I've definitely not felt like I've been on it, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, right right from the off you know I just felt like I wasn't sure if I should be feeding eight mil pellets like I'm doing out there should I be feeding six mil pellets would they be better at this time of year I, I don't know and would bomb and corn be any good would bomb and corn be better I, like I say I haven't been coming I don't know so I really feel like that side even now hasn't been right you know I, I haven't been coming here so that was a little indication then a little liner and should I have been fishing a bomb further out in the middle with with bread? They used to catch with bread. I don't even know if bread's still allowed here. They used to catch with we we popped up bread. Wasn't an avenue that I've been down. So I, I've been on the back foot. It really feels like I've been on the back foot, and I've definitely I've been chasing one or two of those fish out there. The fish that have been rolling out there. I haven't seen so many recently, but you know there've been a lot of fish out in that middle today, moving. Not so much in front of me as as much. They've been a bit more to the left. 
so I spent a bit more time out there than what perhaps I should have done but it is it's still winter fishing um, so I'm just going to sit on this now obviously um, and try and just keep trying picking off a fish or two I've got this right hand line down here where I can drop over that where I'm loose feeding the balls of micros so I'm just going to stick with this now and hope that any further fish I get are obviously going to be of a better stamp well, I've just had a cast out there with nothing I didn't get any sort of indication just thought I'll recast it again just so it's got a fresh fall through this has been out there just under four minutes and it's gone straight round again for the first time we've got a bit of a pattern haven't we that was a decent fish obviously very wary about that wall now to my left doesn't sound like anyone's catching now sounds like those that had caught one or two early or the first part have really slowed down now there we go good fish to get there. slightly better stamp gonna even get the pellet back as well let's get him in the net and get back out there oh, it's rigged to be in the water as long as possible get back out there Still got that five gram bomb on. It goes in much more discreet. Well, that was a real proper fish, that one, what he's just had there. Easily 10 or 12 pound. Massive bonus on a day like today. Um, it's, it looks like this last period is not really going to get going. There's 15 minutes left now. I'm uh, on, the, on that bomb, bomb and pellet line. Getting the odd little indication, but nothing's turning into a bite. You know, I'm not entirely convinced that they're all skimmers, what's there, rattling the bait. You know, I'm sure there'll be one or two carp milling about, but it's not turning into a bite. But that was a real bonus he's just had. I've just heard that down there on the end peg, th peg 13, um, he's just had three down the edge, three carp. I don't know if they're the only carp that they've caught down there, but they've had three. And these lads, um, to my... Um, to my left, it's just gone really, really quiet on these. Gary's, Gary's ticked over, catching the odd fish. I don't know what sort of weight he's got. He must have got 25 pound easy. Um, and the lad on 34 in the corner, he must have 25 to 30 pound. But other than that, I can't really see what else has really been caught. But uh, I really thought this last hour we might have got some caught, you know, caught to one or two, especially on that bomb line, you know, because we, it seems as though it was going to get stronger. But there's 50 minutes left, so there might be a chance for another fish or two. I'm in two minds, I don't know whether to spend it on the method down this margin where I've been putting those balls of micros. Now, now he's just caught that one. I don't know whether to just have a drop on that. I have had two drops on it and not had a sign. But I think my confidence, in fact, he's fishing right down his right hand margin. Um, so, yeah, that's interesting. But no, I think I'm going to stick it out on, on, on this, on, on the bomb and, uh, bomb and pellet line for this last 15 minutes and hopefully going to be able to catch another fish that was a really fast knock then I thought I was going to keep going God, that would have been perfect timing it was just a single bang on the tip just like that and then straight back again I thought it was going to uh, I thought it was just going to keep keep on going go on keep going um, so yeah I decided to spend that last spell on, on the um, on, bomb, on this bomb and pellet line I could have had a drop down this margin there we go I could have dropped down this margin nothing there so yeah a bit of a disappointing end to be honest but I think it's going to be close but I'm going to get some gear packed away because uh, all the lads have parked in sequence on here so that um, I need to get my van out of the way so they can get out as well so I'm going to get my gear packed away and it's definitely going to be close whatever um, whatever people are going to weigh and it'll be interesting to see how the other half of the lake has fished as well <laughs> 16 pounds, they've not weighed, have they?
Well, I had over clicked, just like you normally do, but I didn't, uh, I thought I'd got more than that. I thought I got more than 16 pound. I thought I got nearer 20 pound, but you know, there we go. Um, yeah, a little bit of a disappointing end, but that's that's what it is. You know, it has caught me out today. I'll be honest with you. I think it is still very much winter fishing at the moment, even though the sun, well, the sun's out now. It, it was lovely this morning, but um, the water's still cold. So I've enjoyed it. It's been nice to come here again. I've been here for a few months, and uh, and I will be coming over here over the next few weeks. I've got loads and loads of live matches lined up going through the summer months on some really really exciting venues, and I'm really looking forward to filming them and sharing them with you. So if you've enjoyed this live match and you'd like to see more of them please give this one a thumbs up and please hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and i look forward to sharing more exciting live match fishing matches like this with you going through the summer